Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris back in the studio. Feeling so good. Feeling so good. Uh, man, we try to do Monday show. Right. It's just between the backyard meetings, you getting ready to shoot your last part of your deal. A uh, radio station came by to meet us. Saw that. Trying to, you know, promote Selena and, and Rock and Rick this weekend. It just, time gets away, and then you normally just shoot something real quick or right, post right. what you shot in the garage yesterday right. morning. And you know what? Shout out to Big John and Big George for yes. shooting their twin show. I was going to talk about that today. I think uh, I think they'll get a pretty good little following. You know, two small guys like that talking yeah. about big stuff. Yeah. But you've all we've all seen the video of the guy talking about millennials. Uh, yes. You watched yes, it. Yes, I saw yes. uh, Shane from CITS post it and all this stuff and participation trophies. We talked about that before. That's <clears throat> well, that popped in my brain. And then I went, you know, pretty much all you're doing is lying. Correct. Why has lying become so easy? And by that, I mean, I catch myself not telling the truth because I don't want somebody to get their feelings hurt. That's, y'all hear that noise, that's Stephanie in there. That's it. It's the, I don't want to talk any longer than I have to. So I'll just tell you what I want to hear so I can move on and go. Because if right. I tell you the truth, you're going to go, well, 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 how come I need to? That's I think that is the biggest thing. It is it is time to get you out of a situation. Take, take our business, and I, I, I bet anywhere you work, there's somebody that needs to be let go. Correct. First, you're scared to replace them. And second, you're scared to tell them the damn truth. You're, you're not. No. You just pull them in there and go, hey, man, you got to go. Yeah. But most people, it's hard to look somebody in the eye and tell them they're not doing their job, and now they don't have a job. So you beat around the bush. You pacify them. And I remember growing up, my grandparents didn't play. It was. I think there's no there's <clears throat> no worry. There's There's worry today in what can happen. Maybe. There's worry. There's there's so little respect in today's um, human race that there's no respect in this is my boss, this is a job. Like for us, this is simply this. It's just another job. Fire me, I don't give a crap. I'm going somewhere else. I don't give a crap. So there's no respect. So when the guy that's supposed to fire him goes, hey, man, we're going to let you go, there's, a, there's that in his head. If you, I don't give a I'll whoop. There's no respect anymore, and I think th that's when people go. You know what? I'm gonna go around this corner and go, "Hey, dude, you just, just why don't you just come on, man?" You know, maybe. You know, I know your dad. I, I would like to think I know him well enough that if you were in a sport or wanted to sing or whatever, and you weren't good, he didn't go. You just keep working at it, and you're gonna be the best ever. Exactly right. My mom wasn't either. Now, my mom would tell me, well done. Job well done on something. But she never praised me for something I wasn't good at. Well, I got lucky because I had good coaches. My dad wasn't a sports guy. So, he could care. all his deal was don't quit. That's it. If you start, got to finish. But I had old school coaches. Well, I did too. And that's what I think helped mold the this our generation was the old school coaches, was the licks, was the 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 hey man, these are the rules you're going to follow them. I don't care if you don't follow them, sit down. That I we don't have that no more. I was junior high, junior high, I was probably 5 as tall as you are now. Almost. <laughs> I was I, I was almost. You know, I, I was big in 7th grade. I started Right, little right. little short in eighth grade, and I kind of stayed there. So between the eighth and ninth grade summer, people were growing, and you know I just wasn't tall. And I remember overhearing a coach tell my mom, because I love basketball. Right, told my mom, "Hey, 
get him to pick something else because he ain't never going to get any taller. He ain't yeah. never going to be any bigger. Yeah. He just, and it ticked me off. <clears throat> but he told his truth. To your mother, he should have told you. Yeah. He should have told it to you. But my mom then came to me and went. I, man, I, and I forget the coach's name. I forget the coach's name, but she came to me and went, hey, the coach thinks you ought to pursue golf, tennis, baseball, or or something else other than basketball. And I'm like, why? And she had always taught me, don't let short be an excuse. I told you the rope on the, you know, I've told you all the rope on on the deal. And I went, okay, I'm not going to be tall. I kind of pulled the Tom Brady and went, yeah, I'm not going to be tall, so I want to learn to do these other things. And I turned out to be a decent basketball player. Right, but <clears throat> but I just remember I was mad at what he said, but he was really telling the truth. Yeah, but that doesn't that there's a difference in what you're saying in driving an individual and participation in today's generation. Well, no, I was going to the to line because oh. he could have came to my mom and went, "Hey, oh yeah, he he could probably going to be the best basketball player I ever seen." <laughs> But we don't need And it. as a parent, a parent eats that up from a coach. Yeah. Then comes to me and goes, you're going to be probably the best five-foot-nothing <laughs> guard in this house. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. Yeah, that, it's, yeah an easy way to, it's an easy way to do it in this generation <clears throat> of people. And it ain't just kids because you got lazy adults now. This generation of people don't have a work ethic. That's why you... They're scared. People are scared to tell them they're fired. What are they going to do? They're going to run. They're going to say sexual harassment. Uh, I won't. It, it, it's so easy to sue. It's so easy to get divorced. It's so easy to do all that stuff. That's why it happens. That's why people won't tell them the truth. They'll just go, you know what? We're going to keep you around until. Hey, we started a boy band. To find it. And we can't sing. No, we can't. But we knew we could get fixed in the studio. We knew Chris. And we had sing. one singer. Yes. So we pursued it. But we were smart enough to know that we weren't real good. No. No. But I think we 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 would have had the stage presence and that kind of stuff too. And you know, auto recording vocals and auto tune. Well, if we had auto tune, we'd have been famous. So <laughs> I, I'm not saying lie to yourself. I think you need to be true to yourself always. Agreed. Agreed. And sometimes. Sometimes you just have to tell the truth when, God dang, you know it might not be it. But my dad always said, uh, the truth hurts, but a lie kills me. Yeah, that's pretty much <clears throat> going to end it. Our sponsor today, we got a new one right here. Look at this. Debo. Debo construction. construction. Brandon and his dad been doing this for a long time. They do remodel, new construction, all kind of stuff. Uh, they bank at our bank. Uh, Brandon's married to uh, my friend Cindy, our yep. friend Cindy. Yep. Uh, so, you know, tight knit of, this is our own little business network deal we have going That's here. That's exactly right. From from Brandon and, and the D-Bolt construction team to the rest of our sponsors, they're people that we know. And can I say this? Do you see that number that's on there? Tell them the number. Do you see the number? 717-8515. Yep. Do y'all, do y'all see that number? You know what the great thing about that number is? You don't have to text or call me and Chris to ask what they do. You can text them. Because you can text and call them. Yeah. I've had, hey, do they do roofs? I went, I think. Hey, do they do? And I went, last I checked, I'm wearing a Red C, double D, cancer aware shirt that Chris made us a long time ago. I don't wear that, so I don't know. But I will say this. They do roofing. They do. Because they have a new site that Hope just sent us, Deboat Roofing. Dot com, I believe. That's why I said that. I didn't know so, that. So, you know, type it in. You just search both words. It'll come up. Text him. Call him. Find him on Facebook. We know he's on Facebook. We know he's on Instagram because Hope's doing his social media. So, bam. You have every this just runs reason right in, not to call us. This runs to find right him. into our show. Right We're going to tell you the truth. If you call us, I'm going to tell you to don't call me. Call in. <laughs> there you go. I just got the truth in there. We're going to get out of here, man. Today's lunch, though, is brisket nachos. And I'm excited about this. I'm telling you, I'm excited about this. Well, can I be honest with you? Yes. When they did that loaded 
uh, tater tot last week. I kind of fell off my ooh, fell off my diet. Ooh, ooh, was it good? And uh, God dang, it was good. So it, pretty much what it is is the same thing, just With on chips. With notch. Oh, that's gonna be good. So yeah, that's gonna be eight good. bucks. I think eight bucks. That's exactly right. Hey, if you fall off your wagon, we're gonna give you a participation trophy. We're gonna get you back on that wagon. That yeah, I got. That gives me a topic for tomorrow. All right, man. We're gonna get out of here. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris, and we are out of here.